Uganda of also hunting down the bar. Early 2020. Uganda took a fundamental step towards creating an indigenous program, sending a team of three engineers, Eddie Gamujuni, Derek Tabusek, and Bonnie Omara to Japan with the purpose of obtaining skills in satellite design, building, testing, launch, and operation as part of the BADS 5 project led by Kyushu Institute of Technology Japan. This is a big, big landmark. It's a big landmark for Uganda for us to have come to this point because some of these things have been like they are not ours we are not part of it the launch is as real as it is symbolic on may 10th 2022 the satellite built by the engineers named the pearl africa sat one was handed over to the japan exploration agency for final testing the satellite successfully completed all tests and was handed over to National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, in Virginia. That had promised its launch Sunday afternoon. It was indeed a special day as many Ugandans sat with their eyes glued on their television sets for a glimpse of the official launch, only to be told to wait till Monday following a technical glitch. I was scrubbed due to fire alarm in the Northrop Grumman Mission Control Building. The next attempt is tomorrow, Monday, at 5.27 Eastern and 10.27 UTC time. We will be converting that into Ugandan time. But uh, our satellite is there, it is safe, and uh, it is the launch pad in Virginia, which uh, needs to be, uh, because with these such sophisticated things, you don't take any risk. The Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Monica Musenero, enlightened about the significance of Uganda acquiring her own satellite and the burden it will save the nation. The importance of satellites is that they send information. Now, when you don't have your own satellite, you have to buy this information from those who own. And the information is expensive. So you only buy a little of what you need. Now, having our own satellite means we have our own room. We will be the primary recipients of all the information that comes from this satellite, and we will get it. Minister Musenro asserted that this will help save money spent on getting information from other sources, and it will provide accuracy in weather forecasts to predict the climate. The importance is you will have now have this full package of information concerning our space in Uganda. And then we can choose what we want to use, and we can choose to keep the rest, but we can also sell some of this information to others, just like they have been selling to us. Dorini Agaba, a technical expert, elaborates on how Uganda's satellite launch will be conducted. It is going to be transported in the rocket that you saw to the International Space Station. Once it arrives there, preparations are made for it to be sent to the low Earth orbit. There is a robotic arm on the International Space Station that is going to release the satellite into the low Earth orbit. It is only until then that it will start orbiting and for us to start communicating with it. So these two are not happening at the same time because of preparations that need be, to be put in place. The concept and scope of the program was initiated by, by the former Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Elioda Tumwesje, and has taken three years. I'm Ivan Juko for UBC.